I am so deeply disturbed by this. This is very uncomfortable. Hi Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today's video is a very, very different one. We are going to be doing an experiment together, of course, involving aspects of the paranormal, but also psychology. And I haven't really seen this done anywhere before, so I think it will be quite interesting. Now, this is also something that you guys at home can help me with, simply by just watching this video through to the end and leaving me a comment. But this is also something that you could actually try yourself at home. So I'm really keen to see if anyone actually gives this a go. Now, one of the things that we are going to be incorporating into this experiment is something called mirror scrying. And I am sure most of you watching are probably already familiar with this. And if you're an avid Amy's Crypt viewer, you, you probably have seen this on my channel a number of times. And it is like a spirit communication method. But we're gonna be spicing things up and throwing in a few more ingredients into this experiment to go along with the mirror scrying. But for those of you who are unfamiliar with scrying, I'm just gonna run through with some information about that before we really kick things off. Mirror scrying or gazing is a practice that has existed for centuries. It involves one entering a self-induced trance-like state by fixating their gaze on their own reflection in a mirror or similar reflective surface. This is generally done in low light conditions such as with a candle and for a prolonged period of time. Many claim this to be a form of divination, to contact spirits and to seek information through supernatural ways, but could changes in one's appearance be explained by psychological processes? All right, Crypt Keepers, so that is mirror scrying and a little bit about that. And the, those of you who have watched me a lot and for a long time, you have seen us do mirror scrying and you have before as well, Jared. Yeah. Pull, pulling Jared into this episode just yeah. to talk about that time at Old Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In oh. the, was it the hotel? Yes. Yeah, the hotel of Old Town. That was my first time doing it, I think. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. So Old Talon Town, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm going to link it below, but it's basically like, you can think of it as a ghost town. And we were inside a haunted building and we made Jared do the mirror scrying, look into the mirror. So what did you see? Like, what was it like? So I was in the dark. I think I did have a torch or a candle, sort of lighting like a little bit of light, I think you're supposed to do. And I was looking in this mirror and I was just staring at my eyes, like really deep into my own eyes. And I swear I was aging like i looked like an old man no it's so creepy like really old like i was just aging i feel like i keep seeing like an old man keep keep looking don't stop looking what does the old man look like he looks like old wrinkly old man does it look like you now yeah. what do you think that was do you think that was purely psychological do you think you could have been staring into your future well, even Ghost. even now, like looking at this really bright light that we've got in front of us, like it's hard. I can't even really see the camera lens because the light's so bright, it sort of blocks out that view, right? Now, I wasn't looking at a bright light, but I think when you're staring at something and you're in a dark environment, the same sort of effect happens where your peripherals start sort of darkening, if that makes sense. So I don't know, I feel like it was cool because I'd never done it before, but maybe there's a scientific explanation for it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's our eyes just, you know, trying to make sense of the dark environment. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, I think it could be psychological, but you know, they do say mirrors are portals and we really don't know that much about the spirit world. I feel like if you saw something around you, like come up behind you or something, that would be more compelling to me than just seeing the facial features of your face change. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna be doing mirror scrying tonight. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you do anything. You can have the night off. So one of the things that I want to bring up to you guys, and I think that I have touched on this before in my psychology and the paranormal video, which again, I can link below, uh, but that is infrasound. Do you know what that is? Is it like the brown noise? <laughs> but isn't it like a really, either high or really low frequency that we can't hear, but people say it can make you feel uneasy? Yes. So sound is actually something that can affect our bodies and our mental state more than you really like think about. So there's, there was a famous um, study kind of done, which was really how infrasound was, you know, discovered. Basically think of a scientific 
lab, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people in this one particular lab were seeing ghosts, <laughs> like really weird things that they couldn't explain. And they're like, why would this place be haunted? It's like not old, there's no history to it. No one has died here. Um, not to say that, that places like that couldn't be haunted, but you know, these are scientists. So they kind of looked into it and they discovered there was uh, I can't remember exactly what the machine was, whether it was like an air conditioning unit or something, but it was emitting a, a really low, I believe it was a low frequency, mm. right? And it's something that the human ear can't actually hear because we can only hear within a certain range, but it does affect your body in ways like it shakes your eye, eyeballs, it can mm. like give you this really shakes like... Shakes your eyeballs? Yeah, so like it can cause you to see things. Um, it makes you just have this really gross like feeling like there's someone around, there's something going on. So sound can affect us in ways which could be perceived as paranormal. Now, I'm actually going to use this type of frequency, this sound, while I am mirror scrying tonight. Mm. Because I want it to work. Like, I want to see something. I, like, also guys, like, I don't know how healthy this is for you to do this for like long periods of time, but you know, in the name of like science, the paranormal, I'll give it a go. <laughs> you know what the lie is like, some people might say, oh, surely that won't work or like surely something that we can't hear have any effect. But I feel like when you think about it, like if you listen to music, they can make us feel happy, they can make us feel sad. Yeah. So why couldn't a low frequency range impact Get to you us somewhere. somehow? Yeah. 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 Mm. And I know that if something does happen, I see something, it doesn't mean that it's paranormal. It almost like cancels it out that it is paranormal but i mean maybe it's putting you into a state where you are more susceptible while you're mirror scrying so so this is sort of like a psychological experiment yeah it's gonna be a bit weird isn't it the next i've got two i've actually got three experiments anyway mm. the second one though that i want to try and we have done this a whole lot especially recently on my channel it's called the estes method ah, yeah. it's uh basically you guys know the spirit box uh sweeps through radio frequencies i'm really good at that yeah you are for some reason yeah, really like good. i I don't know like if that's even something you can be good at. No, I, anyway, I enjoy like, doing it. I like Jared doing it. Yeah. I enjoy doing it because it's sort of like relaxing. I think as well you're not confident doing the questioning. Yeah, so yeah. I'd rather <laughs> you just... You can just listen and say I'd rather just it. listen and say what I yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the Estes method, so wearing noise, cancelling headphones while listening to the spirit box whilst I am mirror scrying. So typically like you close your eyes or you're blindfolded while you do this, but I'm actually just going to focus on my face and Maybe that helps the spirits come through. Maybe I will see something and hear something that correlates. But yeah, I don't know. It could also put you in more of like a meditative state, just like the constant like white noise. Am I going to be able to hear it? Where am I going to be while you're doing these experiments? I'm going to be in here. So you can go okay. wherever the heck you want. Okay. Like, or do you want to watch me do it? I don't know. <laughs> nah. I'll be filming it anyway. Now I do have a third experiment. You don't know what this is. Ooh. Um, and I'm not going to tell you. And I'm not going to tell you guys. I'm going to make you wait until like later in the video because I want this to be like the last thing that you see because this part of the experiment really involves you guys and I really need other people's eyes on it to kind of watch it, right? So I'm just going to leave it at that. It's going to be a bit of a surprise. Like, and we'll do the first two experiments that I just spoke about and then check in and then we'll do the last experiment. And yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Crypt Keepers, I'm about to put my noise cancelling headphones on and these are currently playing the ghost frequency, as it's sometimes called, or like infrasound. So I believe it's a really low frequency that, you know, we can't really hear properly. And I'm just going to mirror scry. So I'm going to be gazing into the mirror. I'm not going to say anything really, uh, but I will tell you if I start to see any changes or anything weird in my face. Oh my god, I... Jared? Yeah. 
Yeah. Can you just stay out here? No. I think I just heard that door unlock. This one? No, this one to this room. What was in there? Oh my god. I... Oh my god. I... I don't know, okay. I'm so deeply disturbed by this. This is very uncomfortable. I just heard that, I swear I heard that door unlock back there as well. Like, and you all know what's been going on with me in this door, like, recently. I pulled the headphones off because I just felt really yuck. And again, this could be, it probably is attributed to, to this noise. Um, but I've mentioned a few times on my channel that I have issues with anxiety and kind of what this is making me feel. Like, I'm looking at my face, it looks like it's growing a bit longer. I look kind of evil with this red light. The candles, I think, are going dimmer because they're old, kind of on their way out, crappy candles. And I look freaking scary. I look scary. And this is making me feel like there's something behind me. I mean, maybe there is something behind me. The door just, at least I think it unlatched a bit. Like, I heard it turn. That's weird, but I, I honestly felt like there was something behind me and it was getting closer to me and I could feel it in my chest and my back and it felt really uncomfortable and that happened. Other than that, yeah, my face, it just looks freaky. Like, not like it was changing or looking like someone else. It looks like it was growing longer down here, like, but that could just be the flickering of the candles. What I might do is let's friggin' cut this. Like, I'm not doing infrasound right now. <laughs> Uh, let's move on to do like an Estes session. All right guys, mildly freaked out about what's happened, but we are moving on to the next experiment and I'm basically going to put my headphones on that are listening to Spirit Box and do like an Estes kind of experiment. So I'm just gonna call out if I hear anything on the headphones. One. Head butt. Took my. Pet. Shit. Ten. Trail. I'm actually going to change the frequency because there's so much coming through right now. Twelve. Over here. Yeah. John. This isn't what I'm hearing, but I'm actually seeing my face look like an old person and it is quite like an intense like it does not look like me 
What? <laughs> My name. Loud. No one. Me, up. Alright, so I'm going to be honest, like my face is changing a lot. It seems I feel like it's an illusion with the candles flickering and when I'm really focused, say I'm really really focused on one of my eyes for instance, it feels like my face will morph a lot more and then if I slowly move my gaze to say my other eye, my face regains its composure, focus, I'm not sure, and then it kind of goes back to normal. So this is like similar to what it has been like when I've tried mirror gazing or mirror scrying in the past. I feel like this here is the most dramatic my face has ever changed. Maybe it's just how I'm sitting, the setup, the lighting. Maybe it's the added, the spirit box. It's changing more than it was last time. That was very subtle with the, uh, the ghost sound, the ghost noise. All right, Crew Keepers, I hope you've been enjoying the video so far. I admit it was a bit unnerving doing those experiments. So please let me know if you do them yourself and leave some comments below. Also let me know if you notice my face change in any way or maybe you can make sense of anything that came through during the Estes method. I do feel like my face looked much different during the Estes method whereas I just felt generally like icky and yucky during the first one with the infrasound kind of noise going on. So I think they were both interesting and they both made me feel very different and the experiences were different though similar. Uh, let me know what you think about mirror gazing as a use during paranormal investigation. I know they've been used for like divination for a long time and you know people uh, have reported sometimes to like see the the face of their relatives or someone that they you know once knew who has since passed over. I definitely looked really old during the Estes method, like my face had aged and that is another really common one. Is it possibly something spiritual or is it just your brain trying to focus in low light and trying to, you know, it's just spending so long focused on a face, it's trying to discover other things and it's all just like a psychological weird phenomena, phenomenon. <laughs> Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Now, the last experiment, don't go anywhere. Uh, I've got this idea, right? So with mirror gazing, does it have to be your own face? Could it be someone else's face? I know when you look into a mirror, you know, that's what you see, your reflection. But what if I record a face and you guys watch it? So maybe turn off the lights, Maybe you can set the, you know, you can run your own spirit box and do an Estes method while watching this face, or you can listen to like that ghost frequency noise, whatever you like, I'll probably put some spooky music on. But I've literally just filmed one of my haunted dolls doing mirror gazing. And I know that the doll's not exactly doing mir mirror gazing because it's inanimate, but yeah, it does have a face. And I'm curious if watching a face for like, an extended period of time you'll get the same sensation from that face so if you're just staring at this you know little haunted doll's face for like say I don't know how long I'll leave it running maybe like five minutes you're staring at it for five minutes in the dark and that's just what you're fixated on are you gonna have those same illusions where that face starts possibly looking old and aged or like somebody else's face or do you know what I'm saying like not necessarily that you'll see something in my video, but your brain will make you see it. So I think it's gonna be an interesting one. Now, I do wanna make note, I left the room alone with the doll alone. I haven't reviewed the footage yet, 
but I did not leave a candle unattended with the doll. You know, whether the doll is haunted and it's a bit mischievous and it's gonna burn the house down. Like, either way, like, it's still just unsafe to leave a candle running near like a doll. That doll's made of wood as well, just FYI. So I just had my phone running <laughs> a YouTube video of a candle. So I don't know that you'll get the same kind of effect that, you know, of a fully flickering light like you had on my face, but you, you get the gist. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm just gonna roll that clip and yeah, hang around, watch it, let me know what you think, or yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> but uh, thanks guys, let's, I don't know, let's head on over to Cindy.
Guys, I'm so excited to hear all of your feedback about this video, so please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you saw anything with the doll's face, with my face, just interested. Also, let me know if you want me to do more of these, like, psychological kind of paranormal experiments. I have been doing the haunted, uh, the paranormal games, paranormal rituals kind of series, and this episode was almost like one of the games because I actually found a paranormal game called Black Mirror and I was like, okay, Black Mirror is essentially just mirror scrying. How can I add more to it? You know what I mean? So yeah, let me know if you want me to try and do more of these weird mind things. I don't know. I don't have any mind like right now, any plans, but you know, maybe. Uh, my next video coming out, we are heading back to Farina. So this time we will be investigating the ghost town. So if you haven't watched my last video at the Farina Cemetery, go watch that because the next ones are like really, really cool. I'm, I'm excited for them. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps me out. If you want to do any more reading about haunted places, then head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I also post bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube members, which are linked below. And thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.